evening, and welcome to the Channel 2 Late Movie. This evening's feature is... Lizard Man. So lately I've, uh... I've been thinking about going steady with Lizard Man. He treats me right. He's got a lot of good stuff about him. I guess the first thing you should know is that he's shaped like this, which is very good. Because if you find a Pokemon that's shaped like this, you're not going to have to worry another goddamn day in your life. But if I had to pick my favorite thing about Lizard Man, it's gotta be the numbers, baby. You seeing this? You getting an eyeful of this? These are the best numbers I've ever seen. Oh wait, I forgot about this this little guy right here. That means all those numbers are as good as dog shit. This pussy will make quick work of me. Oh wait, it's actually the best Pokemon I've ever used. Obviously, it can't all be Baconators and Blowjobs. There are some reasons why Toxtricity might not be the best pet lizard for you. For one, none of its good moves do anything to the best Pokemon in OU. Or Dragapult. It does learn Throat Chop, though. If you really, really want to make one guy super pissed off. Also, you unfortunately can't use Shift Gear and Magnetic Flux at the same time, so adjust your strategies accordingly. Oh, and sometimes Toxtricity has to lie on a rock in the sun for a really, really long time. Ready? Go! Lizard Man came here to click the button and lick his own eyeballs. And his eyes are very moist right now. <laughs> Alright guys, well that was fun. We visualized success and we actualized it. We achieved our win condition of clicking the button. But I guess we might as well play the rest of this game out anyway, you know. Just for fun. I truly did not care what I gave that Choice Scarf to, I just needed to get rid of it because their Bisharp means having a Scarf Latias is worse than having nothing. But giving it to the Ferrothorn is absolutely the best case scenario. Because I think I am finally willing to admit that you definitely cannot set up on Ferrothorn with Shift Gear Toxtricity. Even though I definitely try to do it every time. Because it seems like it should work. Because you resist the moves! They're not very effective. But then you lose a third of your HP every turn to Leech Seed and Life Orb and Iron Barbs. So I realized after this first shift gear that I would need to shift gear again to be faster than the Barrascuta. And then I realized after that shift gear that I would need to shift gear again to be faster than the Barrascuta. Even knowing how this battle turned out, I do still kind of wish that I wasn't too low testosterone to just fucking shift gear a third time and try to win that way. That guy was going to U-turn. I can fucking feel it. But with the Pelipper gone, all I have to do is stall out the rest of the rain turns. Melmetal is the one that I actually switched in because my gamer instincts were telling me that he was slightly less likely to get two-shot than Latias. But it really doesn't matter anyway because Barrascuta is a fucking apex predator. Instead of just killing Latias though, this guy is going to elect to just kind of smack her around a little bit while his Bisharp gently weeps. I don't know why he was so scared to send the Bisharp out. Not that I'm particularly scared of it either because all I have to do when it comes out is healing wish into Tapu Koko, but that still seems better than whatever the fuck those last few turns were. I guess they did set me up for this Toxtricity cleanup, though, so I do appreciate that, pal. Yeah, go ahead and strap in for this one.
I lead with Focus Sash Cloister because Shell Smash changing a whole bunch of numbers in one turn is the most amount of serotonin I can expect from this battle. I totally thought this guy was going to taunt me, but what a goddamn fool am I. I do get the double switch into Toxtricity right, but immediately biff it by going for the wrong play on the switch. I thought he would want to go into Blissey before going into Gastrodon, but those are just the kind of calls you have to make when you're based and punk-pilled and don't recognize the existence of electric types that actually use Volt Switch. So the Cloister set is Focus Sash, Shell Smash, Icicle Spear, Spikes Rapid Spin. It's sick because it sets up on ground types and if they bring in Toxapex or another bulky water type against you, you can set up spikes against that, Rapid Spin, their Toxic Spikes. And if they do try to kill you with Scald, then you just threaten pretty much any switch in with Toxtricity. It is unbelievable how bad that Clefable got whooped, by the way. So obviously, he thought I was going to try to U-turn off of Gastrodon, and he wanted to trick the Sticky Barb onto, like, Melmetal or something, and ended up giving himself a choice specs, like he was trying to stop a home robbery and just shot his own fucking dick off. But all I cared about was that I really did not want him to use Wish and then pass it to Mew. Which I didn't even think was that likely. I just have so many Pokémon that are dead against this team that I will happily fucking throw it at Gastrodon if he decides to bring that in on a Thunderbolt. I definitely rushed things against the Blissey when I should have tweaked its nipples a little more first. The best thing about Toxtricity versus Blissey is that you're immune to Thunder Wave and Toxic. So I wasn't under any pressure and I didn't need to click Drain Punch yet, but Blissey just triggers my fight or flight instinct. I gotta fucking kill it. When I see it, I gotta get it. I gotta get it out of here. I gotta get it out of my life. I definitely thought Hawlucha would just be dead in this matchup from turn one, which is why I've just been switching it into random moves. But it did successfully keep the pressure on this game, purely because I'm the human genius that made this team in 40 seconds, looked at it, realized it probably lost to stall, and fixed that by putting Taunt on the one Pokémon that gets one shot by Clefable. Easy. So now with the spikes and the chip damage, the Gastrodon is low enough that even if I Drain Punch, it can't switch into that plus a Boom Burst. But as it turns out, the whole fucking time it couldn't switch into just a Boom Burst. I guess I should have known that, since the numbers are the whole reason to use this Pokémon. And I could have ended this battle like 20 turns sooner. I'll never doubt you again, Lizard Man. I probably should have known that this Tangrowth had nothing when this guy just threw his Mew into the fucking meat grinder first before he even sent the Tangrowth out. But I was still so scared that it was gonna Earthquake me. I probably could have just fucking one-shot it, though and not have to do this dumbass little shuffle that let it get all of its HP back. Now that I know the Tangrowth is in Assault Vest though, I can safely bring in Scale Shot Drop Top, which, spoiler alert, doesn't actually have Scale Shot. It is, of course, Max Special Attack, Rocks, EQ, Fire Blast, Draco Meteor, or Luring Ferrothorn, and various Landorai. Such a sick set. Garchomp is my muse. Also, let the record show that that Clefable did have choice specs when he used that Calm Mind, but that's okay, because it didn't really matter anyway, because Garchomp is pretty good. She can't quite seal the deal on the Toxapex, but that's actually optimal because it lets me be a real asshole and send out Tapu Koko to plant the electric terrain one more time so I can overdrive the Toxapex even harder. Bonus stage. By the way, I had to make another Twitter account at Let's Blow Dro Bro due to circumstances. So come validate me, you know, if you want to. I uh I promise I didn't get banned from Twitter for harassing any women or saying anything prejudice against most racial minorities. The Dutch are scum. <laughs>